Hey guys, I'm Deagle545 here with Minecraft Golf. Yes, that is Minecraft Golf, and um, basically, is I try to get the experience of golf in Minecraft. And the first thing I want to show you is the driving range. This is the driving range. And before I get into how it works and everything, and this is the clubhouse, I just want to show you around. This is the putting green, and this is like a practice sand trap. And so all of this is like in a practice area, so you can uh, gauge your distances and whatnot. This is a tee. You know, this is the tee box, or this is actually a mat that you would hit your stuff off. And uh, as you can see, that's like a like a fence, whatever, like a net. But if you see a red, red means like 30. That means you're 30 yards out, or you hit it 30 yards in this case. White is going to mean uh, 40 yards. Blue is going to mean 50, and black is going to mean 65 yards. And that's just when you're on the uh, hole. That's what it's going to mean. And so this is the first hole. I'm s sorry if it's nighttime and you can't see. Well, you'll see it later in the full thing. This is going to be the first hole. And <clears throat> sorry, on each hole there's four tee boxes. This is the first. This is like the champion tee box with the black hole. This is like a men's tee box, intermediate or juniors tee box, and the ladies tees. And this hole is a par four, and it gives you the distance so you can gauge yourself. And uh, you have a nice uh, cart system, so you don't have to, you know, run around. And that's always good. And so let's actually get into actually how you play, because that's what you want to know. When you, this map will be uh, available for download, but when you download it, you need to go, you know, you're going to start where I started, and you're going to have to go into this chest. And this is all the tools you need. These are your clubs. These are your clubs, and they're in order from driver down, down driver. You can see that's a driver, three wood. Just the clubs that go farther, you know, go different dis distances. And so you want to put them in the same order, so you know. And they're all wooden shovels because they don't they don't hurt your golf ball as much. And so I would fill up these two slots and then keep these as like your wedges, you know, for your short shots because you don't need this as much. You're gonna want to keep. You want to take a bow. And actually, you would want to put this one back. So let's, uh, don't get these mixed up. So like that, okay? And so you want to have a bow. If you're not in creative, you can actually use arrows. So you want to take that. Take as many as you want. This is only set for one person, so, sorry. You take this, you take your food, uh, then you're going to take your golf balls, which are the villagers. So, after you do that, and if you want a cart, go for it. We're gonna come over here. Let's do a little practicing. And how golf works? How to make a shot? Basically, on a tee shot, this is your tee. You're gonna put your villager on top. You're gonna come around. You're gonna go like this and hit him. So you're gonna go like this and hit him quickly, and just turn and flick. And you can see how far they go. See, my driver went. I think it actually hit this blue post. So it went about 50, which is pretty decent drive. Probably went a little farther. When you 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 gotta really pay attention. As in real in real golf, you gotta keep your eye on your ball, especially when hitting your shots. So what you have to do, you're gonna place your ball down, turn and hit, and watch where it lands. And I saw it landed right there. And so what I would do is I could walk all over there. No, no, knowing where it is, looking at landmarks. And uh, what I would do is I'd get to my spot and have the people I'm playing with agree to the area. But then, I would take out my villager, clean up the, the course, make it nice. And here's my spot, set up. Then I would place the villager down, quickly switch to another club, and hit him, and send him out. And that's how you'd play. So that way, you're not rushing, because the villager will walk around. Not much you can do about that. And so you're gonna keep doing that. You can take your time, figure out your shots, in your inventory and whatever, and this is meant to play on a survival because you can actually see your inventory. Or you can play it on a creative and fly around. Or you can have like a ref and creative or whatever. So what you're gonna do? This is gonna be the putting green. And so let's say your ball lands on the green. Okay, you know your ball landed right here. He starts walking around. So you stand here, shoot him, make sure he dies. And then what you're gonna want to do is gonna do this. 
line up your putt maybe and pop them in and hopefully you hit them in and then yeah that's how it works and there's a gimme rule if it's in within two blocks of the thing two two you know two blocks in it's a gimme and you can just push them in as one shot so that's how that works and now as far as villagers moving that when the, if the villager moves off hit let's say you take it and you hit him and he starts walking like that that's considered roll for the first like two seconds so you're gonna look at him that's gonna consider a little bit of roll he moved back a little bit into the left and uh, that's where we're gonna play our next shot and there is a rule you got two blocks from where you think you hit it to actually place your ball so you can place it within two blocks I think it was here so I can place it over here get my shot ready and you know launch him on his way and that's the basic rules of this game it is fun it's more uh, true and realistic with more people and maybe like a referee or something but that will be all added soon there'll be a bunch of club sets and everything and you can pick specialized clubs and stuff which would be very cool and so I'm gonna get into the game I'm gonna play from the blue tees and so how this works is you're gonna have to find the spot for your tee and um, I'm gonna go make sure because you want to play during the day because the villagers are more stable so I'm just gonna take a nap oh it's already daytime I would take a nap if I didn't mess that up but then yeah that should be good I'm gonna put this out really quick I'm just running through the chest because I'm lazy and so I can put the cart down right here that should be fun get ready for my tee shot okay let's see you know take a practice swing you know kind of get things ready and so I want to aim right down the middle because that's the pin that blue block is the pin so I'm gonna place it down and go I messed up and um, instead of I take a look where it was I landed right on that white mark so I'm just gonna mosey into the cart on my way and um, it would go to the next tee boxes if you need to use those if not just push on through and you can take a nice ride through this hole and this hole has water on the right and uh, trees and this the spider webs is considered rough like deep rough you land in that you gotta play out of it and uh, it takes a lot off your shot and so I'm gonna land right up here at the green I'm actually gonna add a stop to the fairway but you're gonna hop out wherever it stops go to your ball go to your spot that you wanted you thought it did you thought you um, landed and I am going to have to place the chest down just so I can access my menu right here like I said kill that guy and um, this is where it landed take your next shot you get two blocks and you know if it's white so that means it's 40 yards from the center of the green everything is calculated from the center of the green because the whole placement can change so 40 yards I didn't really test these clubs out to see which way they would go but I think um, hmm, I would go with my this one so my four key Okay, so get it ready. And see what happens if he moves off like that. You can hit him, but if he keeps moving, you have the shot, you have the chance to, you know, get rid of him with the stroke penalty. But if you take too long, like he just immediately moved, if you take too long and he starts moving, that's considered a stroke penalty. So I'm gonna clear that out. So four, I can hit him on and uh, land short of the green. That was not the right club for that. And so what he, what happened is he landed right here short, come up to here. Counting the shots I took, one to there, two to here. This is my third shot. And so right now I think a little, you know, I have more clubs too. But I think uh, this one should be fine. And that's my six key. So what I'm going to do is place him down, hit my six key, knock him in. Now if I aim that right, he would have been right in the hole. And so I'm gonna have to take that was my third shot, and this is my fourth shot, and I'm just gonna have to take it and pop them in. Boom! I got a par, and uh, that's how you're gonna do it. When the 1.3 comes out, it's gonna be a book, and it's gonna have a whole scorecard and rules all in it that you can carry around. But that's how the golf works. And uh, 
this is the hole from the oversized view and there's only one hole in it yet I wanted to get this out to see how people like it I'm gonna have 18 holes and then start making new courses and actually not in super flat maps and actually terrain and have it look all cool and stuff and maybe higher enchantments and whatnot should be pretty awesome and I hope you guys enjoy that if you hit in the water it is out of bounds and wherever it went in so if, let's say these are just some basic rules let's say I'm over here and it hits and I hit him over there into the water wherever it went in that's where you have to play and you get three blocks from there to place them down and uh, that's how you have to do so I'll take three blocks from like right here and it's kinda hard and you have to, oh, what what did I, I thought I had that so I'll just take this place them down then I'll just take like my driver or something and knock them out of here and then right through here I have a tough shot so I would come to here and um, I don't know what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna pop them out with this club again and see how the rough gets them stuck so I obviously messed up and so I'll just I can hit them again but you can always have, you have that option to place it down so I'm gonna do that I'm going to place them down here and uh, try to get them out of the rough and um, so if he moved I could have just killed him and I get two blocks from here and see you don't wanna you, you have to get around him and to hit him and so taking that time could be a problem but still that's why rough is always bad and it could take a few shots to actually get out of it what a strategy you could use instead of using like a lower club you could put them right in the middle of the rough here and punch them out with one of these higher clubs and see if you can't pop them out like that one popped them out pretty well and then I can take my shot or maybe I can even do this and um, hit him with my driver out and he can get off pretty far and so I, I might tweak the clubs a little bit but I wanna test it out a little bit see how people like it and of this blue thing means the hole is in the back of the green white would mean it's in the middle red would mean it's up front the greens are gonna come bigger and more you know graphic than just flat which would make it harder because hitting up blocks is kinda tough and you actually gotta think about how to do that but once you're done with that all you have to do hop in your cart boom it'll take you to the next tee box and you can keep on playing with all your friends and your friends can be behind you and stuff so I hope you guys actually uh, try this out for me and hope you guys enjoy this and give as much feedback as possible so that's it I'll, I want to say you guys uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, link in the description to download it so um, see you later